So you've been looking for a new construction property, four bedroom house, three bath, but you also want it on over half an acre of land. My friend, I think I found a good opportunity for you. the channel and welcome back to another video my friends if this is your first time on my channel my name is Wilfredo and I'm a real estate advisor here in Central Florida and on this blessing of a channel my mission is to showcase all the opportunities that we have here in the state of Florida so if you are looking for your primary home or your secondary home let's say you live out of state and you want to enjoy your winter months here in Florida or if you are an investor and you are looking to grow your investment portfolio if you are any one of those people I invite you to subscribe to the channel Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any time I post any of my weekly videos. In today's video, my friends, we are in the community of Ocala Waterways. And if you do not know where that's located, we are just one hour and 15 minutes outside of downtown Orlando. One hour and 20 minutes gets you to the International Airport. We're just one hour and 20 minutes outside of Tampa, and we're just one hour south of Gainesville, my friends. And in today's video, we're gonna take a tour of this beautiful house behind me. This house is gonna feature four bedrooms, three bathrooms, over 2,000 square feet, and it sits on a lot size of 0.62 acres of land, my friends. So over half an acre of land. So let's start the tour right where we're standing, right here in the driveway. Plenty of room for four vehicles. And then in front of that, of course, you have your two car garage. Now this house is gonna come in this light colored gray and it's gonna have the darker gray on the windows and as well as your garage door. Now, as we walk towards the front of the house, my friends, we do have this little section of mulch and some plants. And we also have that on the front of the house on this side as well. Now, the good thing about this house, my friends, is you're gonna have this lovely porch area Plenty of room to put a couple chairs and a table. You could come out here and enjoy your coffee or maybe read one of your favorite books. So that pretty much does it out here. Let's go inside and check out the interior of this home. Okay, so stepping into this house, my friends, we are greeted with this open space concept living. So as soon as you walk in, we are right in your living room. Next to that, we have your kitchen as well as your dining room. So really open space. Let's start right here back in your living room. In the front of the house, my friends, you have these double window overlook in the front of your patio. A lot of light coming in through here. On top, you are gonna see a ceiling fan with a beautiful tray ceiling detail. And on the floor, my friends, luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout this entire home next thing i want to talk about is all the space you have in your living room you have a couple of options you could put your big screen tv on this wall because they have a cable jack down below or you could put it on this wall right here because they also have a cable jack so they gave you the options of decorating your house however you see fit but one thing my friends you are not gonna have a problem with is all the space so you can get really creative with where you put your couches you definitely have the space to put it in whatever layout works best for you. So moving along in this direction, another thing I love about this house in particular is that every single section is gonna be super spacious. And you see that right here in your dining room as well. Plenty of space to put a nice long table, plenty of seating for about six to eight people, maybe even 10, depending on the kind of table you get. Under that, you can have the chandelier, which currently only has one light bulb, but when you move in, it's gonna have all those bulbs. So don't worry about that. Right in front, you are gonna have your sliders that lead out into your backyard. We're gonna take a step out here a little bit later in the video, but now let's move into this beautiful, beautiful kitchen, my friends. So first thing in this kitchen, you're gonna have granite countertops throughout this entire space. Right here at your island, you have this little extended area where you can put stools so you can enjoy your meals right here at your island. And in this entire kitchen, my friends, look at all the cabinets that comes in this kitchen. You're gonna have the white shaker style with the crown molding up top. And we always gotta test it out. Soft clothes cabinets as well. And then going back to your island, look at all the cabinets you have. Plenty of room for all of your storage needs. And one thing I know a lot of people, sometimes they like having their sink right here at the island. Other people like it right here in front of this beautiful window overlooking your backyard. So if this is something that you like, this is a great opportunity for you. Double sink, stainless steel. And then all your stainless steel appliances will be coming with the home. So of course you have your dishwasher, 
your microwave, your stove, and then your refrigerator, my friends. Now, I do want to mention that there's no dedicated pantry space, but this, my friends, is what you can use as your pantry. And also, if you needed more, we do have a closet right over here off the side of the kitchen, which you can use as a pantry as well. It comes with five shelves. So if you needed to, you could put your food in here as well. So the next thing I want to show you guys before we go check out your master and the two bedrooms over here, let's go in this direction. This is going to be the first bedroom of the property. And I kind of like this little entryway. It gives you a little bit sense of privacy, kind of detached from your living room space. So walking in here, my friends, really good size room at the front of the house. This window does give you a view of the front of your house and really spacious, plenty of room to fit a nice queen size bed. You have this closet and it's gonna be a little extra surprise because you know you normally don't see like walk-in closets and in your guest bedrooms, but this one has a nice walk-in. You have the rack already installed. If you wanted to, you could put another rack down below so you can definitely maximize the amount of clothes you put in there. And the special thing I wanna show you now is the Jack and Jill bathroom, my friends. So this bathroom is gonna be connected with the bedroom we just stepped out of and bedroom number two. So in this bathroom, you are gonna have this plastic insert. Definitely not one of my favorites, but if you wanted to, down the line, you can always switch this out and put some nice tile. Of course, you have this nice shower head up above, toilet right next to that. And then you're gonna have granite, the same granite that we saw in your kitchen with the white cabinets down below. Of course, your mirror and your light up above. Now, as we step into the second bedroom, this bedroom is situated on the side of the house. So you are gonna have a view of your neighbor. Same thing in here, you can luxury vinyl plank flooring. You have your ceiling fan and you're also gonna have a nice walk-in closet as well. So both bedrooms that we saw so far, walk-in closets, we definitely love that. Okay, so then we're gonna go across and we're gonna check out bedroom number three. So once again, my friends, really good size, plenty of space for your king size bed. Once again, all bedrooms have a ceiling fan and this room is in the back of the house. So through this window, you are gonna have a view of your backyard. And then this closet is a little bit different. You're gonna have your sliding doors, but once again, a really good size closet, plenty of room for all of your clothes. Now let's check out the bathroom in this area. So pretty much the same as the first bathroom, you're gonna have the plastic shower tub combination toilet right next to that and then of course the granite that we've been seeing throughout this house and then the white cabinets down below now stepping out this is the closet i mentioned you can use as a pantry uh, right next to the kitchen and then on this side you are going to have a nice linen closet as well so two closets like i said you could use this as a pantry or keep it as a closet so now in this section of the house my friends this is where you're going to find your master bedroom but first let's go and check out the laundry room so really good space in here. The washer and dryer do not come with this house. That's something that you have to bring with you, but everything in real estate is negotiable. So that's something that I can negotiate for you. Just keep that in mind. In here, you can have a rack up top, plenty of storage. But if you've seen any of my videos, my friends, I always recommend put some cabinets so you could use it more efficiently and hide all your laundry detergents. Now, a bonus that you have in this laundry room is that it's gonna have this sink. So in case anything gets a little bit too dirty, you could definitely soak it in here. Or maybe if you have a small dog and you wanna wash your dog in there, you definitely could do that as well. Next to that, we do have another closet. And then behind me, my friends, this door is gonna lead us into your two car garage. So obviously big enough, of course, to fit two cars. You are gonna have a car door opener. And then in your garage, we have your electrical panel your AC handler, as well as your water heater. So let's go right back in this house and finally check out your master bedroom. And it's right through this door. So obviously the biggest bedroom of this house, plenty of size for your king size bed. Once again, ceiling fan, luxury vinyl plank flooring, and you are gonna have a view of your backyard. I do wish this house had double windows. I mean, this is the master, but nonetheless, you do have a view of your backyard right over here. Now let's take a look at your walk-in closet. So really good size closet, my friends. Look at all the room you have in here. You do have your rack up top already installed. And if you wanted to maximize and double the amount of clothes in here, you could put another rack down below. Or if you see my videos, once again, I always mention getting a closet organizer and you can really customize this closet and just upgrade the look of your closet. Now stepping out and through this door, my friends, is gonna be your master bathroom. 
So really big double sink vanity. Of course, you have your granite countertops like we've been seeing throughout this entire home. And look at all the cabinets that you have down below. Also gonna feature that soft clothes that we love. Next to that, of course, you have your toilet. And in front of that, check out this beautiful walk-in shower, my friend. You're gonna have this beautiful tile all the way from the floor to the ceiling. And look at the detail on the tile on the floor. Really nice touch. I love the way the builder matched all these colors and made it look so beautiful. Right behind this door, you are gonna have a linen closet as well. Now let's step out of here and then go and check out all the space we have in your backyard. All right, so stepping out into your backyard and check out this cover lanai that comes with this home, my friends really nice and big and spacious you have all the room so you could put chairs tables plenty of room to kind of come out here and enjoy your backyard you can even put a grill if that's what you like doing one thing i really like about this tonight is that you're gonna have two fans out here so keep things a little bit more fresh in those hot summer months and if you wanted to you could always screen this area in and we definitely need to do that here in florida to avoid some of those bugs that we hate so much but as we step out into your backyard this my friends is where you have all the space that i was talking to you about earlier over half an acre of land back here 0.62 acres to be exact so plenty of room to come out here put a pool in if you wanted to cabana fire pit you have all the space that you need now let's walk over here my friends this house does come with a well and that's going to be this system that you see here so a benefit with a well is that you save a little bit more money than you do if you were connected to the public water so another thing to mention is that you are going to have hoa of just five dollars a month and you're not going to have any cdd so that does it for back here let's go back inside and crunch some numbers and i'll talk about just the kind of down payment you need to get into a property like this thank you for staying to the end of the video my friends quick recap of what we saw today before we go over those numbers you guys will want to know about this is a four bedroom three bath house over 2,000 square feet of space and the best thing yet is it's on a lot of 0.62 acres of land my friends so the price ladies and gentlemen $409,900 so basically $410,000 so what kind of down payment do you need to get into a property like this if you want to put the minimum amount down, an FHA loan is going to allow you to do that with just 3.5% down. So let's do the numbers on an FHA loan. With your 3.5% down, your down payment is going to be $14,346. If you're going to use a conventional loan, that requires you to put down 5%. So on a conventional loan, your down payment is going to be $20,495. Now, why would you use conventional if you could put down three and a half percent with FHA? That's a really good question. The reason for that is something called private mortgage insurance or PMI. If you use a conventional loan, once you reach 20% equity in your home, you no longer have to pay that PMI. With an FHA loan, that PMI stays on throughout the entire term of your loan. So different things to consider when determining which loan program is gonna work for you. As far as your taxes and your homeowner's insurance, your taxes for this property is going to range anywhere from $4,000 to $5,000. And as far as your homeowner insurance, that's going to range anywhere from about $700 to $900 per year. With that being said, if you are someone looking to buy or sell in Central Florida, please reach out to me. All my information will be in the description below. I would love to help each and every one of you guys out. Until then, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you see every time I post any of my weekly videos. And until then, my friends, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.